this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming back with you another video, people. I appreciate you for tuning in. If you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button, people. Hit that subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing. Smash that thumbs up button. And guess what? Share the video. Let's get this out to as many people you possible, um, if you possibly can. So with that said, and also appreciate y'all subscribers. We hit 13,000 subscribers over here on DC Channel Guns. That is a milestone. So I appreciate y'all new subscribers and old subscribers and everything to help me get to this this point and everything. 13,000 subscribers might not be a lot to some channels, might be nothing, but it means a lot over here. That means that I have subscribers who um, love the information that we bring over here, DC Channel Goods, as a community and all the information y'all provide and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. So we're going to get into it, people. So with that said, we're going to talk about um, a device that's out there that is pretty much in the streets, people. I'm seeing flooded of headlines. I'm talking about flooded of headlines of this device. And, you know, this device pretty much attached to one of the pop most popular handguns in the world. And that is a Glock, people. Uh, to my, if you know anything about the Glock, uh, to my Glock pretty much uh, was one of the guns that led many of these firearm companies to make changes, reduce the parts in their firearms. So now you have a lot of companies who handguns who came out the, that came out of the ditch that wasn't that wasn't that great 20 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, because of the patenting of the third generation Glock, you have a lot of companies out there producing that this handgun now. And now with that said, we have a switch that goes on the back of the slide of this handgun that pretty much was not intended for the use that is used for now. It was for law enforcement, stuff like that and military and now it is getting into the hands of, of of criminals and stuff that people that shouldn't have this and this thing is very dangerous and stuff like that and it's done got out of hand people i'm talking about you know you're giving someone uh a lot of firepower in a handgun which is uncontrollable and you know i have seen videos of this thing most people can't even i'm talking about they can't control it i'm talking about and stuff like that I'm talking about you just spraying bullets all over the place and stuff. So I'm talking about this is a, a, a bad situation with this um, type of device and stuff out there. I'm talking about this roaming the streets. Every article that I have looked at, this is the number one subject, people. The number one subject, everything that I'm looking at. And I, I'm talking about, I had a couple of videos up here, but because of the videos and stuff like that, um, they had took it down or some of them I had took off. I think I might have one or two or whatever the case may be. But, you know, I want to make this a, a information video of this device, what how it was produced, what it was used for, and everything, what it was intended um, for to be used for, and how this thing pretty much got unleashed out into the streets and how it just is just madness with this device and everything. So um, we we have to – this device here is, is not great, people. It's not good. And I don't think this should be in the in the hands, especially when you. It's in, most of the time it's in the hands of criminals and stuff like that. It is illegal in this country. I want to make that clear. This is illegal. This is not something that is legal in this country. It is not. So I want to put that out there. And I, I see too many people think this might be legal, but it's not legal, people. So with that said, uh, let's get into the article and stuff and everything talking about this device. So we're going to get into this video uh, right here. Um, so uh, this is um, the person talking about the Glock um, switch patent and stuff and everything that they did. So I regret filing this patent, the creative Glock switch speak out on his own invention. Now, Glock is one of the biggest names of handgun in the Austrian company company's weapon available worldwide for military, police, civilian use. As of late, Glock handguns has come under scrutiny given the number of shootings occurred in the United States. Many of the weapons used to commit crimes have a Glock switch installed. A small addition turns the semi-automatic pistol into a fully automatic one, giving it more sustained firepower. Now, the Glock switch, also known as the Auto Sear, was invented by 22-year-old George Leon of Venezuela. He'd hoped the quarter-sized device will help both military and police personnel with their counterterrorism efforts. 
Now, I created my adventure always looking for future to help military um, and SWAT team um, to help like a tool. Now, I should note the device was the first auto, wasn't the first auto sear developed. Now, the way the switch works is simply by attaching to the back of the handgun slide. The operator is able to apply more force to the trigger bar, thus allowing for more than a single shot to be fired at once. To put the strength in perspective, a Glock with a device installed can fire up to 1,200 RPMs, more than the U.S. military issue in four carbines. Wow. Now, according to Leon, he purposely provided these switch to law enforcement groups for a cheap minute. He made a little in the way of profit. So he didn't even make profit off of it, forcing him to stop production a few years ago. Now, the Glock switch lift um seed the Glock the Glock switch lifts seeds by the ATF in 2023. Now the US Department of Justice uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Farm Explosive. Leon was originally given a U.S. patent for his invention. Despite the Glock switch being deemed an illegal device by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, which is the ATF, due to its classification as a machine gun, regardless whether it's installed, that, however, hasn't stopped it getting into the hands of those who had just one thing in mind, crime. The spread of the switch has only grown within the United States since Leon Patton expired in the 2016, meaning it has no legal way of preventing um, unsurplus developers from making their own for the black market. According to officials, this is an easy 3D printer and sneakily imported them into the country. My technology was clearly defined in that patent. Every dimension, every detail, the physics, the properties, how it works. So in this way, there were very explicit information there in the patent. Leon explains to the outlet. Now, anyone reading this patent could understand perfectly how it works. Now, uh, the ATF report that it, it, it has made getting an auto sears and other machine gun conversion device off American streets a main priority, according to the 2023 report. The agent has seized 5,454 guns with such switch between 2017 and 2021, a 500% increase over a five-year period. Now, I feel like I try to do the correct thing to keep my technology safe and hands during all that time. But what happened was all the information that was available for everyone who wanted to print out the patent to make very light reverse technology and manufacture illegal Glock switches. We have to find a way to control this unleashed bad thing that occurred, joined together with the bad design of Glock pistols and with the stolen technology U.S. patent that belongs to me. Now, the bad design he's referring is the user's ability to manipulate the handgun trigger bar, which is presumably an oversight of Glock parts, prompted by increased criminal use of his device. So I'm talking about, I just read this um, information about the Glock switch. Um, these switches are spreading across the United States into criminal hands like wildfire people. And so I'm talking about, I just, this was the person who created that want their attentions and stuff like that. But this is uh, apparent, this is very, a very dangerous device that should be in the wrong hands in which we see it on the news way too much. I'm seeing tons of articles on this thing or whatever the case may be i'm seeing that the destructive of this type of thing out in the streets and everything and unfortunately um a lot of people um are pretty much um getting hurt and killed by this device and i you know uh just recently i seen um an article where well it was like a it was i saw a video tv a tv um uh, news clip where an officer will approach someone with this type of device on a weapon and it didn't end well at all people until my so this gives someone with the handgun a lot of firepower people so i just want to kind of read this article to update you on this type of on this uh switch and everything the case may be and stuff like that to let you aware of the capabilities and, and how this device would develop and stuff like that i think it's valuable information that you should know but I do think, you know, with the patent inspired, as you heard in this article, 
and then you got these people that can just 3D print it, just like any other thing that's out there. You get the design and the blueprint, and and, it's, and then that inspired our control people. So, um, so I just want to talk about that. This is D Channel Guns, and I catch you on the next. One. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.